Hello, my name is Sonnet. I like to talk about books. I like to talk about crochet. And today we're actually going to be talking about my newest crafting addiction, cross stitching. Let's go ahead and quickly discuss the elephant in the room though. Yes, the red hair is gone. Listen, I loved the red. You guys really loved the red. It was amazing. But to be 100% honest, it is not the easiest thing to keep up. I was constantly having to re-dye it. My shower was forever stained orange. And as my natural hair has kind of grown out, it's been harder and harder for me to bleach my roots to keep everything really orange and really red and vibrant. And I was just over it. <laughs> so let's take a moment to say goodbye to the red hair. It might come back in a couple of years, who knows, but for right Right now, the brown is here to stay. Now, before we do get into the cross stitch, I did put out a community poll asking you guys if you would be interested in coming along with me while I got my chest tattooed. And most of you said yes. Now, there were some of you that said no, and I know that there's a lot of people that are not into that kind of content. And if that is you, don't worry, I've got you. I have put all the time codes down in the description below. So if you want to completely skip over the tattoo content, you can go ahead and skip to this number right here. Once we get past that number, we're not going to be talking about tattoos anymore. So don't worry if you are here to just talk about cross stitch, go ahead and skip there and I'll see you over there. Now, if you are here for the tattoo content, thank you. Thank you for coming along on this journey with me. It's gonna be just a little talk about what happened. I did record a little bit at the tattoo studio, um, as well as I did get some pictures. There's not gonna be a ton of content, but I am gonna talk about my experience. So my tattoo was scheduled for Monday, December the 18th at 11 a.m. I've gotten tattooed before, you guys have seen. I do have a lot of tattoos, so, I was nervous. I was pretty anxious. I have been to this tattoo artist before. I have been to the shop before and I really enjoy it. I think he is a fantastic tattoo artist. So incredibly skilled and just the nicest person. So I was excited to go back. And yeah, let's go ahead and run some of that footage. Editing Sonnet here. I wanted to give you guys a quick disclaimer and a quick heads up. We're gonna be getting into some videos and photos of newly tattooed skin. And the skin is going to look really irritated, especially if you're sensitive to that kind of stuff. It is not awful. It's nothing crazy. It's just newly tattooed skin. But I did wanna give you a heads up in case you are sensitive to that. So again, skip ahead. Okay, so it is currently 5.30 in the evening. I did get my tattoo today. We actually started tattooing around 11.30. So the like stenciling process was actually pretty quickly. I was very happy with the design that he had come up with when I got there. And so they're not terribly big, they're, they're on each side. So it only really took about three hours for the tattoo, which is one of the fastest tattoos I think I've ever had. I think that is the fastest tattoo I have ever gotten in my life. And so it was really cool. I was like, wow, Oh, it's 2 30 and I'm done and what do I do with myself I'm not here until all hours in the evening <laughs> so it was actually really awesome that it went so quickly also you probably can see um, I have second skin on so if you're just like what's going on with her skin I have the derma shield or the second skin on so this is going to be so nice when it comes to healing oh my gosh I am so happy um, no more like sticking to my pajamas <laughs> uh, that first night I get a tattoo you know what I mean if you have tattoos you know exactly what I mean so I was gonna show the whole thing to you guys right now but there is a lot of fluid <laughs> not gonna lie it's 
kind of yucky um, and I don't want to do that. So you can actually see a part of it right here, a very minimal like color, which I absolutely love. That is exactly what I asked for. And the shading is everything. I absolutely love it. So I imagine you're actually curious about the actual physical process of getting your chest or collarbone or whatever you want to call it tattooed and are interested in what it felt like. So we're going to talk about the pain. Now, pain is relative. My pain is going to be different than your pain and all pain is valid. With that being said, I'm going to be a hundred percent honest with you guys. This tattoo was without a doubt the easiest tattoo that I have ever gotten. As far as pain goes, on like a tattoo scale from one to five, this is like a two, maybe two. Yeah, max. It was so easy. Now about six months ago, I did get my sternum tattooed and I thought that was going to be very painful. The actual sternum part itself was easy peasy for me as well. Um, during that tattoo, I also got my stomach and then part of my ribs tattooed. Now those were pretty spicy areas and this one was a piece of cake. So it is currently Thursday, December the 21st. So I got the tattoo about what, three days ago, right? And I, this is crazy. <laughs> it has been the easiest tattoo I have ever had. The tattooing process was a piece of cake. Going home that night, it really didn't hurt at all. The next day I was anticipating a lot of pain when I got my like stomach and my sternum tattooed. I didn't want to move for like four days. I was like, oh, this hurts. But I completely forgot to be honest. So the actual pain of getting this tattooed was the easiest tattoo I've ever gotten. And the healing process has definitely been the easiest tattoo that I've ever gotten so far. I don't know. We're only like three days in, so we will see. Now, I don't know if it's just this area, if that's why it was so easy for me, or he did use some thinner lines and we didn't do quite as much shading um, or color work as I typically have gotten. So I know that that definitely has something to do with it just the easiest tattoo ever uh, but I am so happy and I can't wait to show you guys I'm not quite ready to share it yet um, the second skin is still on and then once I do remove the second skin it's going to be in that really icky you know peeling phase and I don't want to share it with you guys then either because yuck <laughs> I will go ahead and insert a photo of the finished tattoo when it was newly done and then hopefully in a couple of weeks, once it is completely healed and that peeling phase is all done, I will be able to show you guys the completed tattoo. But that's it for the tattoo talk. Let's go ahead and get into the cross stitch talk. Now, just a little bit of history on me and crafting. I was two years old when my mother got a job in a pretty big, you know, crafting store company. She did recently retire from that craft store after almost 35 years, but I have been basically crafting my whole life. My mom would come home from work and she would bring home all of it. I believe I have tried every single craft you could think of. You go up and down those crafting aisles at this craft store and I've probably tried it. And one that I always really liked was cross stitch. So my mom has always cross stitched and I did cross stitch a little bit as a kid and as a teenager. And my sister also did cross stitch as well, but I kind of fell out of the hobby. I would pick it up here and there, but it was nothing I really kind of stuck with. But then fast forward to a couple of weeks ago and I decided to make my husband a cross stitched ornament for Christmas. But here it is, <laughs> I got into a cross stitch again. So I found this pattern on Etsy. I will link the Etsy page down below. And yeah, I just, I did it. I did the cross stitch and I had so much fun. So since completing my first cross stitch project in a very long time, I have been obsessed. <laughs> I think like I have been so obsessed with cross stitch. It's crazy. This is like my cross stitch bag that I recently decided to put all of the stuff in that I have purchased. I, you guys are going to think I'm insane. 
So let me go ahead and share with you guys a couple of cross stitch things that I have purchased. I believe all of the cross stitch stuff on YouTube goes by the tag floss tube. So maybe we'll throw that in there. But if you're new here and you are a cross stitcher, just know that I am not a, that I am a very beginner cross stitcher and yes. <laughs> but I recently got this kit here. I got this off of that quarter shop and it was a June, 2023, like stitch along type of thing. But this is the, you are my sunshine cross stitch. I had to get this um, because of the You Are My Sunshine. It's a long story. It's like a personal thing. There's a beach, there is a pink house, and it says You Are My Sunshine. The person I am going to be stitching this for, I don't think there is a image that is more them. It's incredible. So I saw this and I was like, uh, yeah, I have to make this. <laughs> and since I haven't been able to buy Amigurumi books on Amazon because of my New Year's resolution to not buy any crochet patterns, I've been buying a lot of cross stitch books. So the first one I bought was this cute kawaii cross stitch. I love kawaii things. I love to crochet kawaii Amigurumi, the little foodies and things. So when I saw this, I had to get it. This is by Sose and Dennis uh, Keitano. Kitano, perhaps. I did get these because I thought that these little tiny ones would be great. Part of the reason why I fell out of cross stitching was because I didn't have the patience. <laughs> I thought that it was taking too long and I wanted something that was done like right now. So I saw this and I thought this would be perfect to kind of dip my toes back into the cross stitch. And then I bought the, you know, the big one, but it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know. I just thought that these would be really quick little projects. They would satisfy that kind of cross stitch love that I'm currently experiencing right now. And I just, I think it's beautiful. And it says there's over 400 super adorable patterns. That's amazing. That's incredible. And you, you know what, with 400 patterns, you could like mix and match. I don't know. I, I'm so excited to dive into this. I can't say whether I recommend this book or not just because I haven't dived into it yet, but from a cute standpoint and a I'm excited, absolutely five out of five. <laughs> so I was shopping the dollar section in Target, you know, cause that's what we do. And I found this one. Um, it's a cross stitch kit. It comes with everything you need. You have the little embroidery hoop, you have your floss, you have the um, fabric there, has the needle. And it's Mickey Mouse. It's gonna be kind of hard to see him, but that's okay. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm obsessed with Mickey Mouse. <laughs> so I saw this, I think it was $3. Yeah, it was $3 in the dollar section. And so I was like, okay, absolutely. This is another book that I picked up off of Amazon. This is the Feminist Cross Stitch, 40 Bold and Fierce Patterns. So I did love this one here, A Woman's Place is in the Revolution. I did think that was pretty cool. But I saw this Rosie the Riveter and i was like okay absolutely going to be stitching that i thought this one was really funny don't tell me to smile if i can tell you how many times people have said smile just smile <laughs> so yeah this is from stephanie Rohr. i just thought this was really really fun and there are some really good patterns in there that I am excited to stitch. And for the price, I thought it was definitely worth it. Lastly, I'm so excited about this book. This is called Kawaii Craft Life. Now, before I bought this off of Amazon, I had to really make sure there was no crochet patterns in here at all, because I didn't want to break my resolution. And there's not. This is 35 kawaii style projects to decorate your home. Now you can add a kawaii touch to your home, dorm, or office with this charming collection of felt craft, cross stitch, and embroidery projects. And then on the back there, you have this darling little pineapple. Come on. You guys know I have been obsessed with felt lately. Now I've been obsessed with cross stitch and the embroidery, I think, seems really cute. This, ah. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited. This is what I like to create. This is what my artwork is. This is what my amigurumi is. I mean, look at my little potato over there. Felt, now cross stitch, embroidery. And I think it's gonna go along perfectly with my amigurumi that I like to make. Oh my goodness, I just noticed this. So the Kawaii Craft Life is also by Sose Katano. Katano? 
and Dennis Caetano. I'm gonna have to go ahead and look more into these designers, but they just, they put out two books that I had to have and so congrats. So those are the books and the kits that I have purchased, but that's not all, oh no. Now we are getting to the part of the video that I am so excited for, oh my goodness. So my dear friends, Aaron and Sam, sent me a giant box of cross stitch things. And I mean, it's a giant box. Just look at the size of this thing. Holy cow, this is ginormous. <laughs> From my understanding in the box is a ton of like cross stitch books and floss and all kinds of things. Sam's mom is decluttering her craft room as you need to do sometimes. And rather than, you know, get rid of it, they thought they would pass it on to me because they knew that I was getting into the cross stitch hobby again. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to switch the angle here and you're gonna open up this giant box of cross stitch stuff with me. It's all a surprise, I don't know what's in it and we will be excited together. <laughs> okay, this box is so big, I don't know where to put it <laughs> while I open it. So if the sound is a little funny because I'm gonna probably be turning away from the microphone or whatever, I'm so sorry, but let's go ahead and hop right into it, shall we? So the first thing in the box is this awesome like stand, I think it is. I feel like this is something that you maybe hold onto or put in your lap or something along those lines to like cross stitch on. Um, I will do a little bit more research on that, but I believe that's what this is. So I believe this holds your fabric and then you, I believe just hold it and cross stitch. So that's awesome. Okay, so there's actually a smaller box inside. So that's fun. We will be able to kind of share the stuff as I open it up a little bit easier than that giant, giant box. Oh my gosh. Okay, so already I see Pooh Bear. Hi Pooh Bear. <laughs> Holy cow. Ah, wow. Oh, how cute. Oh my gosh. How cute. Oh, wow. Look at how stinking cute this is. So Disney Home Baby Collection, Pooh Collection. So my daughter does have two of the little cross stitch kind of like birth announcement type. I don't know what you call them, but she did receive two of them that we have hanging up in her room that two wonderful, lovely people in our lives cross stitched for our kiddo when she was born. How cute is that? Oh, cute. Eeyore is my favorite. I always have loved Eeyore. Look at that darling little like baby cloth with Eeyore and the butterflies. Look how cute cute so excited about that it's like we got a little magazine here look at those little kittens oh my goodness gracious the world of cross stitching britain's number one so cute look at these little like wine like markers is that what you call those i don't know <laughs> christmas kitties margaret cherry's christmas kitties so cute Let's look at the back. Oh, wow. <laughs> look at those little Christmas cats. How cute. How sweet. I love cats. My husband is allergic to cats. So my two cats now live with my parents, but I miss them very much. I had a little orange kitty here and then I had a little black cat. There's all these like adorable Christmas patterns. Can you imagine putting that on like a sparkly like fabric? So beautiful. And I know there's like metallic thread and stuff, metallic floss. Oh yeah, it does say use shimmery fabric. Perfect for the holidays. I will be putting this aside for next year. Never too early to start prepping for the holidays. What can I say? I love Christmas time. The cross stitch motif Bible. Okay, over 1000 motifs with easy to follow color charts by Jan Eaton. Okay, so there's just all these fun little like motifs and things. So you just kind of create maybe your own hobbies and occupations that seems fun 
It's a pretty good size book for sure. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. That's darling. To me, I kind of view this as like a mix and match. You make your own thing. So you can put like a little, there was like little people and stuff. You can maybe cross stitch a little person and then um, it has lettering. So then you can cross stitch their name underneath it and just kind of make some really cute things. I think this is gonna be perfect for like gifts and things. How wonderful, oh my gosh. There's some fabric there, so amazing can use that for sure. Oh, wow, look at this kit. That's lovely. Comes with all the floss and your fabric. 18 count white Ada, okay. Thread palette, needle and easy instructions, including a color accented chart. An embroidery hoop or scroll bars are recommended for stitching this design. Okay, maybe that's what that big thing is, is a scroll bar, perhaps, maybe. Ooh, look at that one. Thomas Kincaid, The Forest Chapel. That's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at all that floss, holy guacamole. That's a lot of floss. <laughs> I'm curious to know like how many stitches are in this thing. This is giant. The finished size is 14 by 11. So it's it's a pretty big piece. Um, this is gorgeous. This is going to be one of those pieces where I work on it for probably years. But when it's all done, going to be so worth it. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, how cute. Oh, how sweet. Sweet pea. This one is called sweet pea. Oh my gosh, that is too cute. Uh, this one is 12 and a half by 15 inches. That is so cute. As a mom of a young, young daughter, I think that is so darling. And look at all those beautiful flowers. Holy cow. That is gorgeous. Oh, that's really cute. That's super darling. How cute. Oh, holy night. Advent calendar. Wait, what? It's an advent calendar. Kit contains cotton thread. 14 count ivory Ada, 14 count plastic canvas, felt, beads, needle, and easy instructions. Oh my gosh, this is an advent calendar. Add an ornament each day as you count down till Christmas. How cute is that? That is so, so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, I love that. I think that is darling. My kiddo has been obsessed with like nativity scenes. And so that is really fun. This might be one that I try and stitch before Christmas of next year. I don't know if we'll get there, but that's a goal because I think this is so cute. How stinking cute is that? Oh, okay. 14 count red Ada. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh man, there is a book on Amazon that's called, I think, Creepy Cross Stitch that I just, I need to get now because I feel like I can use this gorgeous red Ada for something like that. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Oh, how cute. Oh my gosh. It's like a washcloth, but then it has the, um, oh my gosh, it has, it's a washcloth, but then it has the, has the cross stitch there. So you can cross stitch on it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. I don't know why. <laughs> Gosh, that's gonna be so fun. Oh wow, do I put like the little cute things on there or do I do like the little Pooh Bear ones? I don't know. Those are so, that's so fun. Oh, I'm excited. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> oh, more Ada fabric. Ooh, look at this color. Oh, wow. Is this like a forest green? It's like a forest green color. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I like, I'm just picturing Christmas. <laughs> I'm just picturing like a Christmas scene on this one. How gorgeous. <gasps> Ooh, some white, 14 count Ada. Yes, always need more of that. Holy macaroni. Wow, okay. And then just a ton of floss, a ton of DMC floss. Okay. Oh, and they're on these like, Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I see. So this is the color here and they're on these like long sticky things. <laughs> they're on these long sticks to keep your floss organized. This is amazing. 
This is incredible. What a neat way to store your floss. I've been looking at like floss storage and I haven't seen anything like this. So look at all of this floss. Ooh, and there's more. There's these extra ones. A couple extra DMC of those. Wow, look at all of this floss. How exciting. That's so exciting. I don't have a lot of floss right now. This is gonna be perfect for the cross stitch because then I'll actually have the DMC colors, which is really exciting. Oh my goodness. That is so exciting. Got another little towel. Yes, I'm so excited about those. Some more fabric there. We have some more fabric here and some needles. Now this is very small count. This is very fine. So I'm, I'm curious to see what this one is. And then we have this bag of just kind of other fabrics. So it looks like it's just a hodgepodge of fabric, which is fun. What is this? Self-stick art needlework mounting board. Okay. So I guess this helps you stick your cross stitch to like boards and things. Oh my gosh, look. I was thinking about getting some of these, but I ended up not. There is the little magnifying glasses, the little magnifying um, frames. So there are the glasses frames, and then here are all of the magnification lenses. So how fun is that? I was gonna buy some of these, and I ended up not doing it because I didn't know quite if I would need them, but now I have them, so that's exciting. And then look at all of this fabric. What? Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. This is so exciting. Ooh, I believe this is like uh, where you store your fab your floss. That's fun. But yeah, the rest of it is just fabric. Oh my goodness. We have this like light greenish color, red, this beautiful blue. We have natural here. Lots of natural and lots of white antique white i haven't heard of this company before this charles craft but again you know i'm so new to this that you guys are probably like what sonnet charles craft it's the gold standard of cross stitch fabric didn't you know i didn't so i'm really excited to try it out and then the white Ida as well Real quickly, I did want to thank my dear friends, Aaron and Sam again, for being so generous to send me that massive box of cross-stitching stuff. You guys are amazing. You know I love you so much. You are so supportive. You are such dear friends. And I'm so happy to have you and your creative light that you both provide in my life. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You are so amazing and I appreciate it so, so, so much. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. I had so much fun opening that up and I am so excited to actually start doing more cross stitching. I'm really looking forward to it. I might include that now in my Twitch streams and my YouTube streams. So look out for more cross stitch content, how fun. But that doesn't mean that the Amigurumi is going away. You guys know that Amigurumi is my first love. So we'll be sticking with the crochet and the Amigurumi, but We'll be doing a lot of cross stitching, I think, in 2024. But that's it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know down in the comments below if you are a cross stitcher. I'm really curious to know what other hobbies besides crochet or reading or whatever that you may have. But that's all I have to say about that. Thank you so much. I love you. You are amazing. I hope you're having a fantastic holiday season. I think you are so wonderful. And I will see you all a little later. Bye.